Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to do a video on how I set up my screens on my three brand electronic system. So we've got five 12 inch units of three different brands. We got Garmin, Humminbird, and Lowrance on my boat. And I wanna show you how I set up the screens and, and, and you know, my, my personal preferences, uh, you know, and that's really what it comes down to is personal preference, but I'm gonna kinda walk you through the reasoning why I have my screens set up the way they are. So let's start at the console. <clears throat> here we've got uh, two different units here, uh, two 12s. We got a, a Lowrance HCS Live 12 and a Humminbird Solix uh, Gen 3. And as you can see here on the Humminbird, we've got a, a, a mega imaging transducer on the back of the boat. So we do have side imaging. And I primarily use the Humminbird for mapping. So my Navionics mapping and my side imaging. That's pretty much all I use this unit for. I don't do any waypoints. Uh, I don't really pay attention to the tracks on this. It's just for the side imaging and uh, my Navionics maps. So uh, that one's pretty simple. Um, I've, I usually keep it in this setup right here where I've got the map up top and the side imaging down here. Uh, the thing is about side imaging is you really don't need a full screen. You know, you, you just need to have it on the bottom half or the top half. Uh, you don't want like a quarter of the screen. I've seen some guys that have side imaging, you know, in, in this quarter over here, and then they might have down imaging and, and then the map or whatever it is. I don't like that. I like to be able to see the wide picture. So I always keep it so it is a, a wide um, view on the bottom or the top. So if I'm gonna be running side imaging, I want it, you know, the full width of the screen. So that's the Humminbird. Let's go over to the Lowrance. So as far as all the, the units on this boat, uh, this is the one that the screen actually changes the most. So I've got three preset settings on these, these little quick touch buttons. Uh, we've got this one right here, okay? So this one is, you know, when I'm idling around, I wanna get, you know, kind of a different perspective with, uh, you know, with side scan. You know, sometimes I can actually see things on side scan that I don't see on the uh, the Humminbird mega imaging and vice versa. So, um, and also if I'm, if I'm actually looking to drop a waypoint on a certain, uh, type of structure or if I see some fish, um, this one is where I manage all my waypoints. My Lowrance units that I have linked together, these manage all my waypoints and tracks. So I wanna make sure that I drop, you know, the waypoint, you know, here um, on this on this unit because they're, they're sharing it with the map up top. So uh, I like this screen if I am, you know, down and idling, you know, obviously the side imaging isn't gonna show up if I'm on plane. Uh, and the same goes for the, the down imaging. So really this is when I'm idling and fine tuning things. You know, I've found an area that I really want to, you know, just scope out and this helps me just, you know, uh, check out that entire area. So I like having my Navionics maps. I'm usually actually zoomed in. Uh, I call it micro mapping, which is just essentially zoomed in, getting all the fine details. And then I've still got 2D sonar down scan and of course a side scan uh, and then we've got the second preset which is just map and uh, the uh, uh, 2d and this is primarily when I'm running you know if I'm running from one spot to the next I'm really not you know paying attention to uh, you know the the uh, the sonar as much but I still want to see you know if I run over a patch of grass or, or you know see some hard bottom you know, I wanna be able to have the 2D sonar there just in case. And we have a through-hole transducer um, that, uh, that BassBoatElectronics.com installed that works perfectly at speed. And I actually just recently did a video on using your, your electronics to find grass and hard spots, um, you know, while you're on plane. So I, I, I can go full throttle and I'm still getting, you know, a uh, good bottom contact with the 2D sonar because of that through-hole. And all this stuff, I've got to mention it, is, uh, you know, installed by BassBoatElectronics.com. They did a phenomenal job. Um, but, yeah, getting back to the page here, th this this page is while I'm running. Uh, and, uh, and you know, it, that that's pretty much what that's for. And then the third preset is this one right here. 
So this one is while I'm running uh, or while I'm, you know, set down and maybe idling around a little bit using the side scan over here, but also using the, uh, the, the down scan or side imaging rather, let's get it right. And then using the down imaging over here, um, you know, if I'm actually just idling around, obviously again, if I'm on plane, I go to number two that just has the 2D because that's the only one that works while I'm on a plane. So, and one thing I do want to mention is, is, you know, the overlay features that, or the overlays that I put on here. Um, I like to, to put the time, of course, you know, that's really important. So I put that in big, uh, uh, numbers there, a big font, and then I've got the speed. Uh, I put the, um, uh, water temperature depth. I don't know why that's not reading. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's how I set it up. And usually, you know, other videos that I've shown, the, this, this, you know, 2D screen right here, I usually use 83 kilohertz here at the, the console, but um, because I'm running around and trying to find hard bottom areas, uh, I like to see the double echo and 200 kilohertz shows me a double echo a whole lot better than, uh, than um, you know, 83. 83 just doesn't tend to show me the double echo quite as well. And usually, you know, if I'm not looking for a double echo, which is essentially denoting hard bottom, uh, I'm going to be keeping it at automatic range. But if I'm looking for a double echo, I like to keep it, you know, at least two times the, or, you know, two times the depth. But um, usually like three times the depth is what I'm looking for because then you can actually see the double echo. So that is the console. Again, using Navionics uh, Platinum cards most of the time. You can see this one's got the satellite, you know, imagery on the shoreline. And, but uh, those are both Platinum cards. And that is the console setup. So let's go to the bow. All right, so the bow... Uh, let's start with the Humminbird. Again, it's a it's a, a Gen 3 Solix unit, uh, and this is strictly for 360, okay? So Mega 360, but I'm actually using the 420 to 520 kilohertz because I get too much uh, interference with the, the motor guide right now. Um, the, the frequencies don't really match, so uh, I like to use in the 420 to 520, and uh, that's how I use... Um, uh, 360 and you'll you'll notice that I've got it in the forward mode like you could put it in uh, you could put it in this mode just regular 360 mode that to me you know takes out a lot of what I want to see just because it it's it's so small so I like it in forward mode so the back of the boat you don't really see but everything to your your right your left and forward you can uh, see clearly so and it's a big picture so this screen say stays exactly the same i don't use it for mapping i don't use it for 2d sonar down imaging side imaging none of that it stays like that all right so next let's go to the garmin this is another one that's going to be staying exactly on this screen all the time this garmin is just for pan optics live scope unless something else happens to you know maybe the lawrence or something i do need it for mapping but uh, in general, it is stand just like this on uh, on this this uh, Panox Live Scope page. Uh, this is actually the first time I've had a keyed unit for my Live Scope that I actually like. Uh, this unit right here has a great screen to it. I love the fact that that I've got these quick touch keys for um, you know for the range, uh, for my gain, and also for the the depth range. You know, I really like this unit a lot. And as you can see, I like the blue screen. That's actually my favorite of the, the different colors. You know, I started out with amber, but I really do like blue. I think that it has great contrast in the sunlight and that's really important to me. And I can see the fish real well and see everything else. So that's what I keep it in. All right, now we go to the Lowrance HDS-12 Live up here. Of course, it's linked with the HDS-12 on the bow. And uh, I just use this for my Navionics maps. I've got a zoomed in map. So if I've got a waypoint and I'm, I'm you know, trying to line up a cast with that waypoint, uh, that's, this is the screen I'm mostly looking at. Then I've got a zoomed out uh, one that can kind of give me a bigger picture of the, 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 the area. And then we've got 2D sonar. 
and that is pretty much it and of course we're still using the the uh and navionics platinum cards in there but that is exactly how i like to set up my units on my brand new 921 elite uh and man you know it's it, it's worked for me and i think this is one of the best ways to set up your screens to maximize your your overall uh, efficiency which is super important in tournament fishing or just fishing in general so thank you guys for watching make sure you like share subscribe and i want to hear what your thoughts are on how i set up my units and if you do them differently so thanks for watching i'm going to see you out on the water take care